Here's how you can add browser sources to your model like custom alerts, chat boxes, or your own images. Open Wirado and click the plus icon. Choose the screen option. Under the Transform Attachments section, find the Attach To dropdown and select Character. Check the Attach Type dropdown is set to Human Body Bone and the Attached Bone is set to Head. Under the Content section, find the Content Type dropdown and you can set it to Browser. All right, now you can grab your links. Open Stream Elements or your alert site of choice. You can add a new source or edit an existing one. If your alerts and chat are already set up, it's easy. All you need to do is copy and paste your link into the URL section of Wirado. If you want to convert your favorite stickers or memes into toggleable items, create a new overlay in Stream Elements. Set your resolution and hit Start. It won't matter too much since we can rescale in Wirado. Add a new widget, Static Custom, and then Image. Set your new image and either upload a new file or submit an existing one. Expand the Position, Size, and Style section and click on the center widget. This will make scaling in Wirado easier for you. Also, don't forget to rename and save your file. Copy the link and then paste it back into the screen's URL source in Wirado. Congrats, your chat and alerts are now attached to your model. Now let's use the transform options to place them where you want. To make adjusting the transforms easier, Hover over the X, Y, and Z, and you will see a little double-headed arrow. You can click or drag left and right to now easily adjust. You can toggle your screen on and off under the Enable section by clicking Yes and No. If you're working with alerts and chat, use the Emulate or Test feature to see your source on the model and then adjust it in the same way. You may have to trigger the alerts a few times or adjust the duration. And there you have it. There is a lot more than just alerts or chat you can add. You can also set them to props too instead of your character. The possibilities are wide open, so have fun experimenting. If you found this tutorial helpful at all, give a like and a subscribe, and always feel free to leave a comment on what tutorials you'd like to see next.